When you persist a new entity or update an existing one with Spring Data JPA, you might have recognized that you are always executing the same SQA statement that sets all columns met by the entity. That's even the case if you only update one of its attributes. That is a performance optimization provided by Hibernate, the JPA implementation that Spring Data JPA uses by default. Hibernate tries to avoid checking which attributes of an entity have changed and generating a specific SQA statement for them. It instead generates one SQL update and one SQL insert statement for each entity class at startup and reuses it for every insert or update operation. Reusing the same statement over and over again improves Hibernate's performance, but it also creates some side effects. These statements create an overhead if you only change one attribute of a huge entity class. They also cause problems if you need to audit all changes performed on a database table. In these cases, it might be better to let Hibernate generate a new SQL insert or update statement for each operation. Hi, I'm Torben Janssen. If you want to build incredible efficient persistence layers with Hibernate and Spring Data JPA, please subscribe and click the bell to get new videos every week. And also don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Before we dive into dynamic insert and update statements, let's have a quick look at the default behavior. Here you can see a simple chess player entity that stores each player's first name, last name, and birthday. The ID attribute maps the primary key and its value gets generated by a database sequence. I prepared a standard repository that only extends Spring Data JPA's JPA repository and doesn't add any custom queries or other functionality. And I prepared a test case that persists a new chess player without setting his birth date attribute. In the next step, I fix a typo in the first name. This will trigger an additional SQL update statement. As you can see in the log output, Hibernate executed an SQL insert and an update statement that set all columns of the chess player table. This includes the birth date column, which gets set to null. Let's now look at dynamic insert statements. Spring Data JPA acts as a layer on top of Hibernate. Due to that, you can use all of Hibernate's proprietary mapping annotations on your entity classes. If you want to dynamically generate the SQL insert statement when persisting a new entity object, you need to annotate the entity class with Hibernate's proprietary dynamic insert annotation. When you then execute the same test case as before, you will see in the log output that Hibernate generated the SQL insert statement dynamically using only the attributes set on the new entity object. Hibernate only sets the ID, first name, and last name columns in the SQL insert statement, but not the birth date column. Hibernate excluded that column because I didn't set it in the test case before calling the save method on Spring Data JPA's repository. But the SQL update statement still updates all columns mapped by the chess player entity class. If you want to change that, you also need to annotate the entity class with dynamic update. Like the dynamic insert annotation described in the previous section, the dynamic update annotation tells Hibernate to generate a specific SQL update statement for each update operation. When doing that, Hibernate detects which attributes have changed and only includes these in the SQL statements. In the following example, I annotated the chess player entity with Hibernate's dynamic insert and dynamic update annotation. Let's execute the same test case as in the previous example. As you can see in the log output, Hibernate now generated specific SQL insert and update statements. We already discussed the insert statement in the previous section, so let's focus on the update operation. In the test case, I only changed the value of the first name attribute. Hypernet recognized that when it performed a dirty check on that entity object. Based on that, Hypernet then generated an SQL update statement that only changes the value in the first name column. 
Spring Data JPA acts as a layer on top of a JPA implementation. In most cases, that's Hibernate. When you persist or update an entity object, Spring Data JPA delegates that operation to the JPA implementation. Due to that, the handling of all write operations and the generation of SQL statements depends on your JPA implementation and its capabilities. By default, Hibernate doesn't generate a specific SQL insert or update statement for each entity object. Instead, it generates one insert and one update statement for each entity class at application startup and reuses them for all insert or update operations. That reduces the overhead of these operations, but also changes too many columns in the database. If that's a problem, you can annotate your entity class with dynamic insert and dynamic update. These proprietary annotations tell Hibernate to dynamically generate the SQL insert or update statement for each entity object. When doing that, please keep in mind that you don't get this for free and can't activate or deactivate it for specific use cases. To generate a specific update or insert statement, Hibernate needs to detect which attributes have changed and generate a new SQL statement based on this information. That slows down all insert or update operations for objects of this entity class. Okay, that's it for today. If you want to learn more about Hibernate and Spring Data JPA, you should join the Persistence Hub. It gives you access to all my video courses, including one about Spring Data JPA and another one about Hibernate performance tuning, two monthly Q&A calls, monthly coding challenges, a community of like-minded developers, and regular expert sessions. And if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Bye!